Hello Lego fans, Jarv Bricks here uh, with another little update. Today I'm going to be working on my docks. I want to um, just pack it up, give it a little bit more detail. I want to um, increase the size of it. So I've got uh, 50 by 50 base plate that I want to um, uh, put in there. I haven't got enough tiles to tile it all. I've only got a handful left. Um, but uh, I want to build some more pallets, some more containers and, and so on. So um, let's get on with it and I'll show you what I'm doing. So this would be the area that I'm concentrating on today. So as you can see, um, I've already replaced Penguin's hideout here, which is like uh, th that is over there, uh, just a little bit more battered. Never really liked it. It was just a grey box, um, but so I got rid of it. So just put a little bit of a, um, a jetty coming down off the harbour with a boat in. I realised I haven't got that many boats, so it's something I'm going to have to remedy. So um, that is that area. And now moving over to the main area. So this is the area I'm going to be working on today. I've taken all of the bits off. I want to make more of them. And what I'd wish I'd done in this area here is put some more of these. So I, I, I didn't. So I, I'm going to be putting some extra ones down at the bottom end, which as you can see, I already have done for now. So let's get the uh, base plate down. So first things first, we'll get the base plate down. Track to fasten down to it. Right, that's the hardest part. And um, we just want to get a four by two tile just to clip it together like so, so it won't move. I then I had this building in the old docks. which was one building, so I've just separated them. So here I've just made a little storage area with some brooms and shovels, because all docks needs brooms and shovels, don't they? And that's gonna go at the back there. It's gonna have a fence, so I need it to be roughly there. And then this wall here is going to continue so I don't want it going right to the edge. There we go. And then the little uh, booth at the gate. Again, I don't want it to interfere with the wall. So that can go there. The sign can go back up there. Right, so I had a few pallets. So I made some more. So I've got all these ones now. And I like to just have these stacked up. Random colours. I've got a little stud there for it to stick to, like so. The main building needs some stairs going to it. Like so. And then I've got put a bricklink order for some more of these. They're just prison cells on their side. So to make the perimeter, I've only got enough room for one. I've just emptied a bricklink store 
with them all in. So I've got another 47 on their way. I just bang my head on the roof. Uh, so that will um, extend right the way up and around and behind here. Um, and that wall there will go up. So uh, let's see what else we can do. So I saw on um, one of Jiang City's, well, the Jiang's new Jiang City, in the train dockyard, he had these. And I thought it was a really good way for having the lighting. I thought it was realistic. And you've got this um, twisty piece here. I've only got the one. Um, and just put them on the bottom and a little light there. The problem with this one is it's a bit wonky, it's bent. Although, no matter how much I try to bend it back, it's not going. Um, but hey ho. So, I put a little two by two stud there. So, that light will light up the area. Um, where have they gone? So, I've got a few um, six by two plates that I want to put down here with four studs between them and then I'm going to put some of the new pallets that have got stuff on on them so we've already got one there when I've got enough um, tiles I will tile this area but for now I haven't got any And then, um, you know, if you watched my last haul video, I bought a load of uh, six by 10 dark plates to make some more containers. Um, didn't realize I'd bought the dark ones. I wanted the bluish dark ones. So uh, you can see the color difference with the roof there, but these are just the older versions. They are still Lego. So I'm going to just stack these up here. On there Put one there and then on the end one just got these little boxes with a jumper on and I'm just going to Pile them up there. And then we've just got these little things here. I wanted to fill it up with something, but I didn't. Just to flesh it out and give it a little bit more detail. Move that so you can see it. Like so. And then the little driver with his uh, pallet loading up that area. A few tools and stuff next to the booth. And we've got this little worker, which I've made a little um, I don't even know what they're called. Stuff that moves things there. Good thing about that, she doesn't require a stud to stand on. And then I've just got a pallet with a load of wood to go on it. And she's moving it from a container to the storage area. Here the security guard. And I'll put a little worker walking places I'll put another one there these pallets are getting in the way I'm sorry these containers so let me move that I just put one for now that's better One on top of that one. No, 
can go there for now just so you can see it all and I've got a few tiles not many I prefer to use uh, these as my um, things for the minifigs to walk on rather than the jumpers I don't like the one with a little hole in it so let me just fill a little bit of this tiling up okay so that's all the tiles I have available to me for now so I've only gone up a little bit um, so I'm going to get some more of them on Bricklink and let's now just show you a quick walk through from a distance with wobbly cam so coming up with a new jetty we've got the uh, new containers the light pallets with all its stuff on coming around I think that looks really busy I'm happy with it and when I've tiled up that new area and get some new minifigs down really pleased with the way it looks send us a like if you like it tell us if you can think of any ways to improve it there are lots of areas which I need to complete which Bricklink will help with and uh, so thank you for watching and making it to the end. Goodbye.